Welcome to round number four of Stone Soup Chef. This morning we have a Chef Wayne and Chef Jeremy. Hello. May the best chef win. Perfect. Off you go. Our round four chefs who are competing for the last spot in the semifinals grabbed the goods and got going. Chef Jeremy from the Cabana is coming back swinging after defeat last year. This is the redemption year. This year um, I learned a few tricks and uh, learned my lesson about what it's all about here, so hopefully we can pull it off. But that doesn't mean Chef Wayne from Waterfront Wines is going down without a fight. I've made a lot, quite a lot of soups, all shapes and sizes. So this is a mandolin slicer, and basically it's something that helps you shave vegetables nice and thin. Next, Jeremy showed us how to cut an onion, but not everyone was listening. This end right of the onion here holds a lot of the liquid uh, from the onion. So the longer you can leave it on, the less moisture is going to leak out of the onion, therefore making it a little less curious. Yeah, they're making me cry for sure. It's not, it's not my soup, don't worry. Once the soups were smelling good, it was time to work on the garnishes. Jeremy hoped to set his soup apart by frying some tasty corn fritters. We took these corn fritters and we fried them and then we baked them in the oven until a little bit harder than we normally would. As we add it to a soup, we don't want it to get soggy. While Wayne worked with noodles. Pretty similar to what Jeremy's doing and just heat up, uh, heat up some oil and then drop the noodles inside the oil and they'll really like pop up and get crunchy. Soon it's judging time. Jeremy presented first. A potato and corn chowder with a corn fritter and a lemon creme fraiche. And I thought a chowder today on a nice cold day would be uh, kind of good. Stick to your ribs. Like there's a lot, there's a lot of substance there, and the crunch with uh, the fritter is, is ingenious. But Chef Jeremy's pretty spot on, isn't he? I love. There are so many layers of flavor in here, and, and while the soup itself is quite you know dense and rich and stick to your ribs as you speak of, he put like a little squiggle of creme fraiche on the top that has like a citrus zing that just adds a whole new element. So it's unbelievable. Then it was Wayne's turn. So we did uh, Thai curry yam soup. It's fantastic, completely different from the other chef's recipe, but really, really lovely, great for a winter day. But there is only room for one winner in this kitchen. Thank you so much to both of our chefs, Chef Jeremy, Chef Wayne, made two completely different and off the charts soups. Fantastic, both of you. And I'm happy to announce today that Chef Wayne is our winner of round four. That makes Wayne one of the final four chefs ready to compete in the semifinals next week. Stephen Kressel reporting for Go Okanagan.